Hey everyone, someone asked for a Mesin tutorial for my last video, and I know there's not that many good tutorials out there anyway, so I guess I'll do it myself. This will just be a surface level walkthrough on using the Mesin build system for configuring and compiling C and C++ projects. Uh, it'll be nothing fancy, like building libraries. So let me first introduce Mesin. Um, Mesin is an open source build system, which means you can go into GitHub and contribute to it. It's very fast and user friendly. And the one difference between this and CMake is that it has a built-in package manager. It has a Python-like syntax. And the reason it's faster than CMake is because it uses the Ninja build system under the hood, whereas CMake uses Make. So to install Mesin, you actually use Python, not an installer or a wizard. You just write pip install Mesin and pip install Ninja, or if you're on Mac or Linux, you use pip3. So let me dig more into the package manager that is called RapDB. The one downside, in my opinion, is that it's a per project package manager, whereas if you use something like MSYS2, it's across the entire system. The benefit of that is it's platform independent. So if someone else wants to collaborate with you, they have the same .rap file that you gave them. They can compile it on their system. That'll make it platform independent because you compile it yourself. So let's get started with setting up a Mesin project. Here you can see I have the boilerplate code for a Hello World program. And the first thing I'm gonna do is make a new file next to it called Mesin.build. And the first thing you wanna do is give the project a name and tell it what, which language you're gonna use. So I'm gonna call the function project. I'm gonna give it the name Mesin Tutorial. And the second argument will be the language I'm using, which is CPP. And the second function you need to call is executable. And then the name of the executable and the second argument is going to be the name of the source files that you have, in which case we only have main.cbp. And that is it for the mesin.build. Now to configure this, you want to bring out the terminal and just write mesin setup build. Mesin setup are the two commands so that you need to configure a project and build is the name of the folder in which your exe will be built in. So you'll see a build folder is created and it has all the configurations for Ninja. And then you can just go into this build folder and write Mesin compile. And you'll see that the app.exe was compiled and you can run it with dot forward slash app. And here we get the output for hello world. Now, one little thing I wanna bring up now is whenever you have bigger projects, of course, you're gonna need more files to compile or maybe even when you have several libraries to compile, you can be compiling one by one. So the following is a Ninja thing, but Mesin also supports. It's whenever you write Mesin compile, you can do dash J and then the amount of threads you wanna use. So if I wanna compile with four threads at a time, I can do that and it'll compile four times as fast on average. And then you can just run the executable again. So what if we have more than one file? Um, the basic C++ and C structure is to create a source folder as well as a include folder. So that's what I'm going to do. And in the include folder, I'm going to create a hi.hpp file. And in here, first thing you always want to do in a header is pragma once. And then I'll create a function, doesn't return anything, and it's just going to say hi. And then in my source folder, I'm going to create a file called hi.cpp, then include that header and then I will implement the function. Void, say hi. I'm gonna output hi and then followed by a new line and then include IO stream. So just like that, I can go back to main CPP, include the hi.header, delete the IO stream include, and then call the say hi function. And because I no longer have access to the IO stream, I have to turn this back to zero. Now I just have to call the compile line again and you'll see I have errors. That's because we didn't update the Mesin file to track the headers and the new source files. So let me go back to the Mesin.build. And the way to tell Mesin where to check for headers is to create a variable. I like to call it inc for include. Set it equal to include directories. And in here, you want to write the string that is the path to the folder, which in my case is include. And then for multiple source files, we want to turn this into a list and then I'll add a second string, which will be source slash high dot CPP. And as a third argument to the executable, you want to assign the keyword argument include directories 
to the variable include. Now this is getting kind of convoluted, so I'm gonna divide this into several lines. And now we have to go back out of the build folder and write Mison setup build. But this time, because we are reconfiguring it, the build folder already exists, so this won't work. We need to give a command dash dash reconfigure. And now I can go back into the build folder, write Mison compile, and then run the exe. And now we have our output high. So let me get into using libraries. Mison does support using third-party package managers such as msys2. So if you have a package in there, you can use it in here. But I like to use wrap file simply because of the reasons I stated before uh, in terms of compatibility with other platforms. So I'm gonna use wrap files. I wanna create a new folder called subprojects. And it has to be called subproject or else the wrap installation won't work. So now that that's done, I'm gonna use the very popular library called FMT. And the way to install a wrap package is Mison wrap install FMT. And there we go. And you'll see under the sub projects folder, there's the FMT.wrap. Now before we can reconfigure and compile again, we have to add this dependency to the Mison.build file. I'm gonna create a new variable called FMT dep for dependency, set it equal to the return value of the dependency function. And in here, I'm gonna add the string FMT because that's the name of the wrap file. And then we'll add a fourth argument to this executable function targeting dependencies, and then just add the FMT underscore dependency there. And it's good to practice to turn this into a list for whenever you eventually add more dependencies. And before we do this, as of now, this will create DLL files to avoid DLLs being formed and for it to be a static library instead of a dynamic library. I'm gonna add a third argument to this project function and I'm gonna target default options. And this will be a list of strings that are typically used as commands for the compiler. And I will write default underscore library now this is getting a little convoluted as well, so I'm gonna separate these into different lines. So this is gonna make it to where any library that I have to use in my project, is gonna be compiled to a static library, not a dynamic library. So this is done. Let me go back to the CPP file. And instead of including IO stream, I wanna include FMT slash core dot H, and then I will write FMT and then print hi comma open and close brackets backslash n for a new line. And then the second argument will be my name. And this error is occurring because we have not yet configured it. So let's go ahead and write Mison setup build reconfigure. And this is a stage where it installs the source code for FMT. This isn't the compiling process. And now you'll see that the error went away. So now we need to compile it. And I'm gonna CD into the build folder, write Mison compile. And once the app is compiled, I can run it. And just like that, we get the new output. Now, of course, I couldn't go a video without bringing up and using Kraken Engine. So I'm going to use that as another example on including dependencies, configuring, compiling, and running. So from start to finish, one thing that I am going to write is another default option, which is setting the C++ standard library to version 17. And I'm going to include the Kraken dependency. And of course, I need to create the sub projects folder, go into the terminal, write Mison wrap install Kraken engine. And then I need to add the dependency to my dependencies list keyword arguments for the executable function. Now, let me go back to the main.cpp file and I'm going to go to my Kraken engine documentation page. You might notice from the last video that it has changed quite a bit and the API reference also has changed quite a bit, but I will make a second video discussing these changes. But anyway, I'm going to copy this code and then paste it in here. And of course, VS code doesn't know what this is because we haven't configured yet. So Mison setup build. And now that it's done configuring, you'll see that the error went away. Let me go into the build folder and write Mison compile. And this is quite a large library. So I'm going to do the dash J command and use 12 threads to compile. And after all of it is done compiling, we can run the exe and you'll see that a 800 by 600 blank window has popped up. All right. So this should be a good introduction to the Mison build system. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments or join the discord linked in the description and I'll try my best to answer them. See ya.